Why are these two brackets ceramic? It's a brainstorming question. I like people to think. And I thought nobody's going to interact. Surprisingly, I had 16 answers. 16 unique answers people are thinking. And this astonished me. People really think why these are ceramic brackets. So I'd like to uh, say, wow, didn't you care? That was brainstorming. I never thought that people would actually bother to think. But so the thing I concluded is you can't be a slave to the system. You have to think that it's not an arch, it's individual teeth. So you can put brackets of various things in various places because you should think on tooth bases and not on dental arch bases. And I'll give you the answers and I'll show you that people now do think of orthodontics as a tooth-based problem and not as an arch-based problem. It's not a full system. So uh, I'll ask anybody who doesn't, of course I didn't give the answer. So it's an open discussion. I'll, let's have a minute or two. What do you think? Why did I put ceramic brackets in the lower left, K9 and 4, fibers extracted? So why? Hmm? Maybe impacted. Maybe impacted, so you put ceramic brackets. Maybe, yeah? So they don't debond fast. That's okay. Probably because of hand courage. I don't understand how, but probably that's an answer. <laughs> yeah, I read you. So, so, we don't have much time. I'll summarize. Now, what they said is control torque because they're less flexible. That's a good idea. Because, but, you see, with ceramic brackets, they fracture. So it's difficult to control torque with ceramic brackets. I'd rather go for an 18-spot metal bracket. That would control torque better or probably change it to another bracket. But in the lower area, it's already the highest torque. So an 18 would be nicer. Then another person said, rotation of teeth, where you can put more composite on one side, and that's where you rotate these teeth. That's a good idea. But I would probably move the tooth mesially, move the bracket mesially or distally, rather than put differential thickness of composite. But that's an interesting idea. Push the tooth lingually because it's a thicker bracket. It has an in-out depth that's thicker. Mm, that's interesting. But, well, if I'm going to think of it, I wouldn't use ceramic brackets. Probably I'll think of thicker brackets. And the thickest brackets we have in the arch are... Hmm? No, no, the thick, the thick, thick brackets. The upper thick, five. Yeah. The upper five in the MBT system is thick. You've got the upper two is thick. You've got the lower ones are thick. So you can deal with those if you'd like, if you'd like thick brackets. But it's interesting. Research purposes, that was astonishing. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, maybe, that's, that's a good one. Yeah, research purposes. Maybe we had a research going on and we're studying something. That was interesting. Convenience, that astonished me as it's the last patient in the clinic and I just had them on the hand and so I just put them. Hmm, that works, it's okay. That's nice. So more friction, as you said, more friction because ceramics provide more friction. That's okay, it's nice, but still, I don't think it's a good one. I'd rather go for an 18-stop bracket or put firm ligation with a ligature wire <coughs> rather than put a ceramic bracket because it can fracture. So, but it's a good idea. Resist debonding, stronger attachments, they say. That's a good one as well. But, mm, and I've had a practitioner who actually told me that, that he uses the lower ceramic brackets just so that they don't fracture so often, they don't debond. Unfortunately, ceramic brackets, if they don't debond, what happens is that they fracture. And that's not nice. What I usually do, if I fear debonding, is that I put a premolar tube. And we'll talk about that some other time. So a premolar tube is very low profile. 
and that doesn't debond. So that, that would be better. Uh, a metal bracket, I think, will debond less frequently than a ceramic bracket. At least won't fracture, but a premolar tube is a very nice tool. Probably someday we'll talk more about it. Help distinguish patient, for the patient where to put the elastic. <laughs> that was interesting. That was really interesting. So they said that you put ceramic brackets so that the patient can tell where to put the intermaxillary elastic. <laughs> that was nice, but I would probably just put a colored elastic if I wanted it. And just tell them, put the green one to the green one, rather than put the ceramic one to the ceramic one. At least I can remove the green if I changed my mind. Um, but it was a nice idea. And then came changing torque. And uh, this is a special bracket which I used. It's an upper or a lower or something. And I want it as a reminder <coughs> for me. And that was interesting as well. And sometimes you change brackets, like I would invert an upper canine, and I would leave the hook hanging down so that I remember that I changed something with this bracket. I don't cut the hook. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But when I thought about it, all that I felt, now, nah, if I'm going to need something to remind me, then I would just write it down on the case sheet. And I would write it down in red so that I remember this bracket has been rotated, has been changed, has been slipped. So that I remember. So what's the real reason? Well, the real reason is generally I bond the upper arch first. That's the first visit. And then the second visit, I bond the lower arch. I would start from the left to the right as a routine because I have an assistant who actually passes the brackets. So we must have a system. If I'm bonding in the Malone, I do whatever I like, start wherever I like. But since the assistant is giving me the bracket, she always starts from the left to the right. And when I started bonding, I bonded the four, then the three, then I realized the patient is not a ceramic patient. It's a metal patient. So I thought, oh, you're giving me the wrong brackets. Well, give me the right brackets. So she went and brought the other set of brackets, and we continued with metal. And the patient is happy and just passed. 